Lucas Media. So trainer Jeff Mayweather, uncle of Hall of Famer Floyd Mayweather Jr., had this to say about Earl Spence. He did an interview, and he was just asked about Earl Spence, and he went to say, quote, I know Earl really well, and he's a great guy. I just don't know how he's going to come back from that fight. Talking about against Terrence Crawford. And he goes to basically say that Earl Spence needs uh, needs some tune-up fights. He definitely does. Honestly, my honest opinion, Earl does. Um, Earl looked very slow out there. He looked like he aged overnight when he fought against Terrence Crawford. I seen him make no adjustments. And it just it something just seemed off about him. And I'm at a fight, fight party, and all my homeboys are expecting him to dog walk Terrence Crawford. And I mean Terrence is stronger. He's getting off the jab quicker. Earl's just getting the the brakes beat off him. And Terrence is out there like he barely breaking a sweat. So they did try to exercise the rematch clause, but then that didn't happen. Earl ended up having eye surgery. I guess Terrence, he didn't move on. And we don't know what Earl's doing. Him and Derrick James is at it. And they're saying now that Derrick James is suing Earl. And he really owed Derrick James $2.5 million. But he's... Because Derrick James was getting paid the purse but not the back end money because that's how a lot of pbc fighters are getting paid now all of this is alleged we don't really know Derek james did, did an interview and he kind of just said he's focused about the future i didn't i don't remember him dogging earl or whatever but you know so i mean with that being said you, you had a brutal beat down and you lost your trainer so he does need two more fights I had people in my comment section going at me back in the day when I was making videos after the loss saying that he needs some tuna fights and on Facebook groups and things. It's okay. Earl got to be what? 33? 34? Let's get let, let's get one to two, maybe even three tuna fights. Hopefully the PBC can get them locked up and they can do like how Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker and some of these other fighters did and stay active all year. Then you can jump into the world titles and the, the big fights. What people don't realize is winning changes everything. If Earl goes back to winning at a dominant fashion, people will call for the fight if Terrence Crawford is still available and not retired and say, ooh, it's different now. The fight going to be at 154, not 147. But I just wish we knew what direction uh, Earl was going. We haven't, I haven't at least heard anything. And like I said, I know he had that eye surgery again. We don't know how long he's going to be out. He tried to say that was one of the reasons why he lost to Terrence because his, his vision was bad. Every fighter makes an excuse after a loss. It is what it is. And it just wasn't his night, honestly. It wasn't his night. But they say he got paid at least $25 million for the fight. Shout out to him generational wealth as long as you live within your means you really ain't got to never work again you got 25 million but yeah I, I agree with jeff mayweather he definitely needs at least i would say this entire year if they can get him some fights at least three fights this entire year should just be against you fighting you know joe smoles or whatever and i would actually support that because we know earl he ain't ducking or dodging nobody you know a lot of people try to say earl's overrated but i'm like he beat everybody but terrence crawford you know and he took the belt from three different people but terrence crawford he went over to the uk and beat kel brook then he beat danny garcia then he beat sean porter or sean porter danny garcia i can't remember off the top of my head then he beat ugas and now it's like, then he took a loss to, to Terrence Crawford, but he's a bum because of that? Seriously? Because of one loss? This is why fighters don't like fighting, because the fans are so fickle that the minute you have a loss, is, is their career is over. But go back and look at all your old fighters. Other than Floyd, how many of them took losses? And even then, you could argue that Floyd never fought the best of the best when he became Money Mayweather. You know, he was very calculated in how he picked his fighters. 
So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. He definitely need a couple of tune-ups. What y'all think?